Hi again, everybody. It's Craig in the Sports Cab, and I thought we'd begin today's adventure with a very short spelling bee. Let's say your kid's in, oh, second grade, and the teacher says, let's use the word, let's spell the word socks, S-O-C-K-S. I'm, I'm doing that prior to the kid being asked that. The kid stands up and says, sure, I can take that one on. Won't even have to use it in a sentence. Socks, S-O-X. Wrong, says the teacher. Kid, take a seat. All right, the teacher is asked, how come the red and the white are spelled wrong? Uh, the kids have to have some sort of lesson. Well, back in the late 1880s, baseball teams were named the Blue Stockings, the Brown Stockings, the Black Stockings in one case, the White Stockings, and the Red Stockings. You had to have that shortened. It just wasn't going to work. Charlie Comiskey named his team the White Sox, S-O-X, in 1901, and the Red Sox owners followed suit, S-O-X, in 1907. The shortened version of Sox, many believe, came in the description of games written by writers who worked for the Chicago Tribune. The Red Sox had also been known as the Plymouth Rocks and the Bean Eaters, so Red S-O-X was certainly an improvement. And the White Sox became the Black Sox when some of the guys threw the World Series in 1919, and when things go bad on the south side, the team is often referred to as the White S-U-X-X. The Astros just saw the red and won just one out of four. They are currently 1-0 against the white with two to go, and the Astros certainly don't want the first part of their nickname shortened. This is Craig Roberts on Click to Houston.